to, to play at Wembley and to use GT's words, to win at Wembley is a very, very special day. Something I'll never forget. Highlight number one's got to be my first goal. I think for, first goals for a striker at any, at any club are important, but it was strange and it, it couldn't happen now, but I was on loan from South End and scored my first goal for Watford against South End at Vicarage Road. So it was a tiny little scrappy, scrappy goal, but it was my first one and scoring against the manager that didn't want me at South End was um, quite pleasing. I had to restrain myself from running over to the dugout. <laughs> but, and, and like I say, I'm not sure how many players that have done that scored against their own club because now it's, it's not allowed to, to happen. But every first goal is a weight off your shoulders. And I was on loan and was loving my time. I think I probably, it was probably my fourth game. It wasn't an early goal. Um, so that was really important to me and against Southend and against the manager at the time. Number two was a few years later. Um, I think any, any player looks back on the career or a striker would look back on the career and think about goals. I, I like to think about winning and I suppose essentially winning at Fulham um, to win the League One League. Because it happened so quick, we knew we were promoted but it was only after the game, and it was the supporters that were telling the players, because the, the staff are so far away at Craven Cottage, there was, there was people on the pitch, you couldn't get to them, so we didn't know. The final whistle went, and we didn't know we were champions. So, just that, I think it probably took us 15 minutes to get off the pitch with all of the Watford supporters on there. Not that I'm complaining, I was loving it, every minute of it. So we were all off in, in the dressing room and enjoying a, maybe a glass of champagne, even GT maybe, with an early glass of champagne before we got on the coach. And then half an hour later, Robbo came in and he'd been support, with all the supporters for half an hour and we hadn't even noticed he, were, he wasn't there. <laughs> so that, and that coach drive back to Vicarage Road was, was pretty special. That, that was my first medal, so loved it. Number three happened, what, 12, 13 months after that, um, winning at, at Wembley to get promoted to the Premier League. As a kid, I'd gone to Wembley many times with my dad. I'd been to the 84 Cup final supporting Everton because they were Northern. That's how fickle a, a young football supporter can be. But I was at the Cup final, went to Wembley many, many times, but to uh, to, to play at Wembley and to use GT's words, to win at Wembley is a very, very special day. Something I'll never forget. A couple of months later, my first Premier League goal. We'll go back to firsts, but my first Premier League goal, not that I scored loads of them like Troy, but um, yeah, to win away at Anfield was very, very unexpected and to get the goal, for me, it capped off my scoring in every division, which was a big thing for me. Um, and to do that at Anfield, which growing up as a kid, I was a, a Liverpool supporter because my dad still is an ardent Liverpool and Watford supporter now. Um, but yeah, that was a pr pr pretty special day. Very close to the Wembley feeling, very close because of what, you know, in the dressing room after GT and Kenny, some of the things they said were just very, very emotional, impressive, and inspirational. So that dressing room and, and leaving Anfield that day, my parents were, were in the stadium, brilliant. <music> Lastly, I've got to go which was, which was unfortunately my last season at Watford, um, reaching a 20 goal mark. And I remember getting to the 20, I think it was about February time, at home to Crystal Palace. And I hadn't planned the celebration. So literally, I think I stood in front of the Watford supporters and started flashing my hands and then realised I couldn't remember how many times I'd flashed and have I got 30 goals, have I got 40 goals? But 
But now getting to 20 goals, which I knew at that time that I wasn't staying at the club. I wasn't given the opportunity to stay, so it was really special for me to get to 20 because the, ironically that last year of my, my Watford career was, was my best in terms of goals. So getting to 20 was, was a special day, but that's just, I suppose, a selfish personal thing. But as a goal scorer, 20 is a, is a good number. Click here to watch more videos.